Um, yeah. So basically, the Lakers are your NBA 2020 final champions, as the title says. Now, of course, this isn't guaranteed, but it's the closest thing to it. Um, if there are any doubts about the Lakers before, they should all be gone now with the way Anthony Davis just played. I mean, that game winner he hit was just absolutely nuts. Like, that was insane. Um, the, uh, the Nuggets literally played great defense, but the Lakers just, like, at that end, that was just better offense by them. Um, looking at the teams we have left, Lakers versus Nuggets. If the Nuggets couldn't win this game, I don't think they're going to beat the Lakers. It's going to be a four or five game series. Um, you know, Anthony Davis going for 31, Brian going for 26. Probably what they're going to average the rest of these playoffs. So they, might, they might step it up in the finals, but that's all they really need to average as long as everyone else is playing decent on their team. So they're going to easily beat the Nuggets, in my opinion. And then what do they have next? The uh, They have the Clippers? Nope. They ain't got no Clippers these playoffs. They got the uh, Heat or the Celtics. They ain't got no Bucks on the East. So Heat or Celtics? The thing about the Heat and Celtics, none of them really have a, t a superstar. Jimmy, in my opinion, is up there, but most people would not consider him a superstar. And Tatum is up there, but most people would not consider him a superstar yet. But the Lakers have two top five players, like... There's no way that the Heat or Celtics are going to match up. For Celtics, nobody's going to be able to stop AD, bro. They got Entis, Ennis, Cantor, and Daniel Tice. Like, that's not happening. Maybe if they had Al Horford, that'd be a little bit better. But they have no one to stop AD, um, and no one's really going to guard Bron either. Tatum will do an all right job, but he's not going to stop Bron. Bron. Bron's just so much older and bigger. He's just going to he's gonna get through him. Um... Everyone else will be locked down because the rest of the Celtics are better than the rest of the Lakers, if I'm being honest. But nothing's going to make up for just how good Bron and uh, AD are going to be against them if they were to play the Celtics. Now, if they were to make the. Uh, if they were to play the Heat, which is looking likely. Um. If they were to put my bad about that, I was getting a phone call. If they were to play the Heat, which is looking likely, they uh, he also don't have a top five player. He are gonna be uh, a harder team to beat than the Celtics or the Lakers, because the Heat have Bam Adebayo, who's probably the best player in the league, guarding Anthony Davis wise. I don't know who'd be better guarding AD. Um, I think it's definitely Bam to be honest. Maybe Giannis, but I think it's Bam. Um, maybe Giannis, I don't know, debatable. So, AD, um, Bam's one of the best players in the league to guard AD, but even then, AD's still gonna be great, like, look at how he played, they could just get switches or whatever. After that, Jimmy will do an alright job guarding Bron, but Bron's still gonna be good, they're gonna get their switches off of him. Um, yeah, it's gonna... It's going to be a win for the Lakers either way. I think the Celtics will go to like maybe five or six games. Maybe even seven, but... Uh, or I meant the Heat will. The, the Heat could go to five, six, or seven. The, the Celtics will be a four or five game series, just like this Nuggets one is about to be. Like, after seeing what AD just did and how the Lakers won, if the Nuggets can't win that game, they're not going to win any game, to be honest. And that's just the facts. Um... So with that being said, we're going to keep this video pretty short. Uh, that was just insane by AD. Anyone who said it wasn't worth trading for him is now eating their words. I was always um, on the train that they should have traded for AD. So this is good in my opinion. Um, next year, we'll talk about next year for the Lakers on a different video. But right now, congratulations to Frank Vogel and his uh, Los Angeles Lakers on being the 2020 NBA champions.